Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I have a pretty disturbing story to share with you today. Um, a man has been arrested for a double homicide and he had a MAGA meltdown about pronouns shortly before he committed these crimes. So here's the deal, here's how this tragedy unfolded. So 50 year old New York resident, Daniel Coppola, he was arrested last Thursday for the murder of his ex-wife and her boyfriend. And the details of this horrific event are kind of bizarre. So evidently, last Wednesday night, Coppola drove to the home where his ex lived with her boyfriend. They had been together for a couple of years. Coppola's 15-year-old daughter also lived there with her mother and the boyfriend. And when Coppola arrived at the house, he texted their daughter he said, you need to come out of the house. I'm going in the house. So the daughter comes out. She gets in Coppola's car. Then Coppola, according to her, goes and hides in the bushes for some reason. And then he goes and he busts down the front door. He runs upstairs, shoots his ex-wife, Kelly, shoots her boyfriend, Kenneth Pullman. And according to Coppola's daughter, he gets back in the car and he says to her, quote, I killed your mother and Kenny. So Coppola starts driving back to his house with his daughter. And as he's driving, his daughter starts texting her friends and she's asking for help. So in one text, she wrote, quote, I don't know what my father did. I don't know how my mother is. So her friends try to call the mother. And there's obviously no answer, so they call 911. Now, in the meantime, Coppola's daughter also somehow calls 911. I don't know if this was in the car or if this was when they got back to his house, but apparently she called 911. She reported that her father was talking about taking his own life. So they get back to Coppola's house. The police arrive a while later. They, they're there to do a wellness check because he's threatening suicide. At that point, they realize that the 911 calls for Coppola for the suicide attempted, you know, or, or some, I guess, threatened suicide attempt. Um, and then the 911 call for the other home, you know, at the other address, they realize, oh, these two are related. So Coppola was taken into custody. He has now been charged with two counts of second degree murder, which maybe an attorney watching can under, you know, explain this. I'm not understanding why second degree seems like if you go to someone's home and you have a gun, there's intent, right? And so why wouldn't it be first degree? But anyway, um, if Coppola is found guilty, he faces up to life in prison. And this is going to be a tough case for him to fight because investigators found a typewritten note at his house and it detailed his entire plan. So the prosecutor said it laid out his plan in, quote, excruciating detail and it showed his, quote, homicidal rage. Now, evidently, Coppola not only planned to kill his ex and her boyfriend, but he was also going to kill both of their attorneys. So the attorneys that handled their divorce. Um, and then I guess in this letter, he was blaming her for his financial situation and so forth. So here's where the MAGA rant comes in. The Daily Mail reported that just hours before Coppola admitted, or excuse me, committed these alleged crimes, um, he posted this bonkers screed on Facebook. So here's what it said. Um, for those of you on YouTube or on TikTok, you can see it right here, but I'm gonna read it for people on the podcast and for those who can't see it if the font is too small. It says, quote, he slash she, her slash him, what a bunch of fucking wackos, like I need this in a corporate email. I don't give a shit about your orientation. Why do I need it in your signature line? Do your job as a guy, woman, trans, etc. I don't care, but don't need it in your email signature line. I'm done with this shit and fuck you all that think this is normal. Can't wait for the blowback on this. I'm done bidding my goddamn tongue. Growing up, you attend, 
excuse me, grow up, you attention grabbing pricks. I had a very close friend of mine ask me, why does this bother you? I said it goes against my core values. He says, if you don't care about what they do outside of work, then why is it a problem? Me, it's not a problem at all. Just don't need to know someone I don't know sexually orientation while conducting business. He disagreed with me and said, if it doesn't bother you outside of work, then why does it bother you within work? Reply, it only creates a line that doesn't need to be created with an initial email or contact with this person. A line that has no bearing on the task or business at hand, regardless of a sexual preference. Maybe I should say in my signature line, Trump slash him, exclamation point, exclamation point, hashtag MAGA 2024. So, wow, where to begin? First of all, Coppola, Coppola obviously, just very clearly does not understand that pronouns have nothing whatsoever to do with sexual orientation. It is quite literally just a way of telling people how you prefer to be addressed, right? It's like somebody putting MD or doctor or PhD. I mean, personally, you know, is it a bit much for everybody to feel the need to put this in their bios and their signature line? Probably, you know, it, it's a little over the top. Do I care if they do it? No, I don't, because it doesn't affect me one little bit, and it doesn't affect him either. It doesn't harm me. It doesn't harm anyone else in this world, and I could care less how someone wants to be addressed. I will address them in whatever way they want, because I believe that you should be respectful to people in that way, just as I wouldn't call someone by the wrong name. You know, I mean, it's just ridiculous. But this accused homicidal maniac is apparently deeply offended by pronouns as if it's a danger to him. The irony, right? And if you're so bothered by pronouns in a signature line that you feel the need to spew out this rage-filled, lengthy post on social media, maybe your problem and your anger isn't really about pronouns. Maybe it's a little misplaced right? I mean, Coppola is obviously a, a bitter, disturbed man who hasn't dealt with his feelings. So I, I think it's safe to say he's taking it out on other people who don't deserve it. Um, and, and the really tragic part and the, the victims, I mean, besides the people who lost their lives, but now his daughter, you know, she is a victim in all this. She's going to be now losing both of her parents. One of them is gone. The other one's going to prison, you know, and she's going to have to carry this guilt now. I hope that she doesn't. I hope she doesn't blame herself for leaving the house that night or, you know, not running back in or whatever is going to go through her mind because you know that's going to happen. She's a 15-year-old girl. And sadly, the other victim had two children. The, the man, the boyfriend that he killed, he had two children, um, and their, his children are now orphaned because Kenneth Pullman's wife had passed away 17 years ago. She had cancer and she died. So now these kids, his kids, have no parents. This is a horrific, tragic case. It has left a lot of innocent victims. And here's the thing. I know there are unstable people on both sides. I know there are unstable people on the left. But it sure seems like the most unhinged among us are MAGA men and women. I mean, normal people don't give a damn about pronouns in someone's signature line. Whether they agree with it or not, whether they use them personally or not, they see it and they move on. But these people just obsess over the most ridiculous things and then they'll talk about the culture wars as if it's the left 
pushing culture wars. It's like, you guys are making it into a war, right? I mean, get over it. So anyway, um, just thought this was a horrific case and just, you know, an another perfect example of a truly unhinged, unstable MAGA man. So there you go, guys. Like I always say, there's a reason they support Trump. All right. I will let you know if I hear any more in this case or when he is sentenced. So thank you all so much for watching and listening. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.